Hello everybody, I'm Marvin Birunji and um, today I'm here to talk about how to deal with a bad chop day. What's a bad chop day? So, this is um, one of those days that you really get and you are sounding so trashy on the horn and you can't believe it yourself because you make practice, you've been doing your exercises right, you've been doing everything right but then you get to this one gig and you are sounding really bad and you don't know what's really causing it so believe me this happens to the best of us it happens to everybody that plays the trumpet this day happens to each and everyone so be strong and um because i'm also here to help you go through it just in case if it has happened to you before i'm here to help you learn to prevent it because um you're going to learn that Preventing this day from happening is really the best thing that you can do because it's far much better than um, Dealing with it when it happens. So I'm going to give you both ways how to prevent it and how to cure it now Stay tuned on my channel and let's get started First and foremost, I want to talk about rest this is one of those um, really really big preventative measures that are going to help you prevent yourself from getting a bad job day now you need to understand that you're going to have to rest as much as you can after a really big gig or a really 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 intensive gig and um, also when you choose to practice make sure that you practice with um, these short break intervals in between your um, practice sessions say um you are practicing lip slurs and you're doing this really really maybe moderate or high lip slurs you're going to need to play um just go easy on the horn play for at least three minutes or two minutes while constantly playing and then take a minute's break take that horn off your face put it down for for at least uh, maybe half a minute or a full minute and then put your horn back on the face and then play again, grind again, keep grinding, and then rest again. See, what these short intervals do, they help you, um, they help you develop your ambasha really quickly, and also you're going to find yourself playing really longer hours, and that way you'll be getting, um, you'll be hitting two birds with one stone. So, resting is really important. After a really long gig, you can choose to take the day off, take maybe a day, yeah, one day is enough, and then get back onto the horn the next day so this is a very useful um, tactic that I like to use on my horn and it helps me deal with these um, days that I get to sound very very bad so try it too it's really going to help secondly and um, related to the first you are going to need to be easy on the horn just play soft play slow you understand when you get to your practice, um, say you are having a really bad day, already you can't sound good on your horn, don't go for the difficult stuff because it's just going to frustrate you more and more and more. You've already had this um, bad day, you know that you today you are not sounding your best. Know that you need to sound, you need to play slow, you need to play at a lower volume. So play simple exercises and that's just enough don't don't really struggle with the horn at least that's enough practice you can do it for maybe an hour say get to your horn play a few long tones play them as soft as uh, possible try out a few whisper tones and these are going to develop your ambasha very very well you are not going to believe it so by the time you finish up this one hour you are going to feel like your chops have really improved so you feel they have improved you can go on from there because um this is something that um you can prevent within a very short time so after playing um these uh you can play the first exercises in the clerk uh, book just play a few chromatic uh, a few chromatic movements from maybe F sharp to C, repeat F sharp C, low F sharp, low C, low F sharp, low C. Go like that. It's really, really going to work for you. You don't have to work very, very hard because um, already your ambassador has failed to get there now. Deal with what's within your possible range. That will help you develop your ambassador really quickly. Yeah. 
Next on this list is you need to have a consistent and working warm up. Each and every one, um, each and every trumpeter that plays has his or her own way of um, warming up. Now, say for me, I just do a few lip slurs in the, um, from my C to low F sharp and then I'm good to go. That's, that's my way of doing it. Or maybe sometimes I can do some um, exercises from the urban method. Those help me and keep me going. So use, um, use whichever way that works for you, whichever way that you warm up. It's very, very important that you stick to it. Don't change your warm ups, um, your warm up session. Keep it the way it has been always working because you are, you've been using it because it, it's been working. So if you are to maybe have a bad job day or anything of a sort, remember, get into your warm up, play it, use it, and you are going to sound much, much better. So keep this in mind. Your warm-up must always be working. If it's not working, change it immediately because it's important for it to work for you. It's important for your warm-up to keep on supporting you whenever you are going to play the horn. So keep that in mind. One of, um, the, one of the things that I also like to do on a bad chop day, when I'm having a really bad chop, I just like to go for my long tones and lip slurs. That's all. I just focus on air control i just play with my air only i first eliminate my tongue and then i just focus on my air i can do that for maybe an hour and i'm just listening to how i'm sounding and um, relating myself to maybe one of the greats maybe i might listen to a uh, miles davis um, album or something just before i practice then i start to imagine that sound in my horn and this keeps me going because um, I'm just focused on the sound that I'm producing from my horn and also I am developing. So it's something that I like to do um, as an alternative of um, that really, really hard practice. So I make my practice session simple and then um, I'm also gaining from it. All right, now next is, um, this is something that I like to do, something that really helps me practice when I'm having a bad job day. And this is, um, I like to practice the things that interest me, the most interesting things on, that I like about the horn. So, um, this way I could get maybe a solo that I did some time back, a solo that I really, really love so much, and then I focus on this solo, I play through it like um, very, very many times. And then um, say I get another solo or I do an exercise that I love so much. So sometimes um, a bad job day, especially when you're practicing, is caused by boredom. You could be bored with um, things that you normally practice each and every day, recurring and recurring them each and every time. And yet um, at this time you're supposed to be enjoying it. You're supposed to be enjoying your practice. You're not supposed to be bored because it's the best way we learn. Because um, see, when you are a ki when you were a kid, um, you weren't really forced to play games. This is something that interested you really, really very much. That's why you learned to play all these games, the video games and everything, and you became good at them. So, same applies here on the horn. You're having a really bad job day. Practice the things that interest your mind. It's really, really important to do that. All right, now. Um, Finally, I like to talk about two things. Um, you need to have quality sleep and you need to stay hydrated. You need to keep water in your body at all times. This should be like second nature to you all the time. Just have a bottle near you, sip some water, get onto that horn. Because when, when you have a dry mouth or um, dry lips, you are really going to sound very, very bad. And um, if you don't know that it's dehydration that's causing that, you are going to keep playing, you're going to sound bad, you're going to get frustrated, you're going to need to, you're even going to want to throw away your, your instrument feeling really bad about it. But then the truth is, you are lacking water in your body. And uh, also about sleep, you need to have at least maybe seven or eight hours of sleep. Those, those are good to go. 
Then you get onto your horn, practice, 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 and then keep playing. Slowly by slowly, you are going to keep improving and um, you are going to prevent the bad chop day from happening. And um, just in case if it happens, I've told you the best ways to deal with it and uh, it's not going to happen to you again if you take these preventative measures and um, so um, there are more videos that I've been making and um, about um, range building, about uh, mistakes that um, trumpeters commonly make when they are playing the horn and so many other videos, the covers I make. Please go out and check and um, if you like what you see, like and uh, please subscribe, leave a comment. I need to know how you feel about this video. I need to know how you approach your bad job day. Please keep those comments coming in. I want to know how you feel about this. And yeah, I'm Birunji Marvin Martin and please have a great time.